Hello everyone, welcome back. You guys watched yesterday's video, you know I have a black tank that is blocked here on the fifth wheel. I bought it that way because they left the valve open all the time. And this, most uh, of the trailers have a little things you can click an end on it and hook up a hose to. This one doesn't have it, it's just been cut off. So for about $15, I went ahead and got the parts for this. And uh, now this I can hook a garden hose up to, put this on the end of the sewer pipe, close the grave uh, tanks down, and then push water back up the pipe in hopes that it, it might lodge something loose. I don't know. You would think that driving almost 1,300 miles, bouncing around on the roads and having to go through Mississippi with those bouncy roads, it would have already worked its way loose, but that tank was probably fairly dry then. So anyway, this was, uh, this was the best thing I could come up with. running a totally separate hose. This isn't the one that's hooked up to the to the trailer because you never know what might come down this one. So anyway, I guess it's time to turn on the water. Shut the, I'm gonna shut the kitchen gray and the bath tank gray. I know a lot of people said that those sensors don't always work and that's true but I can knock on this one and it definitely feels like it has stuff in it compared to when I knock on this gray tank completely empty. I can hear the water going up in there. I don't see that water coming up yet though. Well, it didn't do anything, and now it's making some noise. Well, it definitely started coming up, so I went out and kinked the hose and shut the black valve. It's a couple hours later. I'm still working on this, but now it's pretty empty. Uh, I saw things and did things that no person should ever have to do. It was so clogged that when I run that hose up in there and it broke through the cone or whatever it was, it come out. And once that drained, and then I had to hook that big hose up there, and that was not pretty. And. Uh, then I went in and even though it drained where the toilet was, you could still see stuff everywhere around there. It was like there was one spot where it went through and that was it. So then I had to get a garden hose and go in there and then go in there with a, a wire, a heavy wire, and go in there and pull that stuff back. What a mess. So now I hooked up the sewer flush because that hose come in kind of on the side where I couldn't really get the wire. I couldn't see if I could get the wire all the way back there because the toilet is kind of on the other side of the black tank. And uh, this is now the third time. I still can't get that belt to shut all the way though. I don't know what to do about that. So anyway, uh, right now I just tried to push it shut again and I'll see how full I can get the tank to be. And it does not smell pretty out here right now. <laughs>
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, that that job is done. And like I said, there were a lot of things that you did not see that was filmed. It still smells pretty ripe out here, uh, but it's done. Uh, the black water valve does not shut tight. It'll shut part way, and you can get the tank up about half full. So what I think I'm going to do is is leave that hose, just put a little shut off on it, just prior to the fifth wheel on the sewer flush, and then every I don't know, every day or so she can flush some water in there and let it run out until I get back down here and start working on the house. I did want to thank, there was some one person I just went inside and looked but I couldn't find the name that suggested that I do just this. There were so many suggestions but some of them I couldn't do and I looked online and had read about that prior to this and uh, once I read that, you know, that, that comment, it was like, that's what I have to do. It's, it's the only thing I know how I can do. I'm not going to bring the travel trailer in. I'm not going to drop the black tank. And, and it just, it worked good. So the next thing I have to deal with on here is the, I had all the battery lights on in the trailer. And uh, they're not keeping up. The battery went dead. That's the old battery. I put a different battery in here. It was one of the two marine batteries that I brought down with the Louisiana boat. There's one that's in the boat right now that's brand new. The boat floated in the flood. The one that I put in here now, that one was underwater for about two weeks. So I have no idea if that battery is good. And when I had all the lights on, that one didn't keep up either. So now I have most of the lights turned down in there, the DC lights, and, and it's fine. And I have a regular battery charger, the one I brought down here with me, on there. So I might, there's something that I did that was stupid with the electrical. I'm not even going to bring it up right now unless that's what happened. And I blew the inverter or the charger, the charging system on here. We'll have to wait and see. Tomorrow I'll put the, the brand new battery in here and see if that keeps up. So anyway, that'll probably be the next video. We're also going out to lunch tomorrow with Melissa's daughter. So I don't know if I'll get to it tomorrow or the next day, but that'll probably be the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. A heck of a lot better in there than it would be living in here.